I really appreciate you joining me today and this story comes from Egham in Surrey in the borough of Runnymede. It's not far from South London and on the 20th of September there was a robbery of £425,000 worth of Rolexes and jewellery from the jewellers 24-7 Kettles that is based in the Mead Lake Place office district. This robbery occurred at just gone midnight when a group of four males in a car enter the business park. They then make their way to the front of the building where they smash the security doors with a sledgehammer. I'd like to thank the owners of 24-7 Kettles for providing the full CCTV of this incident, which was understandably upsetting. After entering the building, there is then a second security door and they smash this also with a sledgehammer. There is three floors of offices in these buildings and it was only built in 2018. And of course, they're light and airy and modern. But also the reality is, is that they're very open and glass is easily broken through. As the sledgehammer demonstrated in this video. A big reason as to why I'm doing this video as well is also to raise awareness about security and how these sort of things go down. And also the lack of notice of this story as well. Where the mainstream media are still yet to pick up on it. Even though the owners have put out a £100,000 reward for the return of the items. As you can see the thieves enter the office and the driver then comes back out and makes his way downstairs to bring the car round. At this point now they're throwing the safe out of the window. The rest of the group will then join the driver downstairs in the car park for the second part of the video which I will play in a moment. The driver makes his way outside and pulls the car up round the back where the safe has been thrown out the window and the rest of the group disperse. The second part of the video shows their getaway coming out of the car park past the security gates as such and then they get a trolley in order to be able to put the safe into the car they struggle to do this and it takes them several minutes to be able to get the safe into the car potentially they didn't know how heavy it would be or how big it was eventually they get the safe into the car and make their getaway with the doors open as well so the safe is pretty much hanging out of the car at this time the owner told me in an exclusive interview with scar city that the police arrived about 10 15 minutes after they made their getaway they only stayed for a short amount of time and the day after forensic came but then since then they found it very difficult to get any update about what's going on with their case. Mead Lake Place is described on the website from the office retail park sellers as tranquil office space on Forplea Road in Egham. Offers easy access to the M25 at Junction 13. It consists of three office buildings and covers 30,000 square foot. And this is something that I noticed straight away was the fact of the security gates. Like these are barely security gates. This is, they do have security on site. The owner of the company said, I don't believe there was any dogs on site. And security guards can't intervene really in situations like this when somebody's got sledgehammers and weapons. The gate to the actual industrial park is tiny and the car must have smashed in very easily to gain entry to the park. For myself, this would have been a security risk from the get-go. They've got glass windows surrounding the whole building and also a very low set gate. So it's definitely something to bear in mind when you're renting out office space and looking for somewhere to store something that's cost so much money to make sure that it's as secure as physically possible because there are people that will go to great lengths in order to be able to obtain that. 24-7 Kettles are a fairly new company. They only launched in February and the jewellery business has seen a massive increase with social media. Everybody wants to be seen with a Rolex or a nice bit of jewellery on TikTok and Instagram. And there is definitely a major niche in the music industry as well where selling a watch to a music artist could potentially get you a lot of business in the future. But what the internet does is also let people know a lot about your business. 24-7 watches had in stock at the time the 2021 Rolex Oyster Perpetual and this is the latest version of it with anti-reflective coating applied to the back of the sapphire crystal. They also had in stock Cartier watches as well, the 2021 versions and there was also jewellery inside the safe that was taken, the owners told me. They described themselves online as a modern company specialising in timepieces and jewellery and their goal is to deliver a dream timepiece with an affordable price and they buy and sell luxury watches and jewellery. As I said before, they've released a £100,000 reward and also serial numbers and paperwork have also been released. 
As of yet, no arrests have been made and no car has been recovered. So that is definitely a big reminder in security. And I'll definitely keep you updated if there is any updates on that story. And strangely, it's very similar to another case that's in a conviction last year, where a gang robbed a salesman and stole a £4 million worth of precious gems. They were convicted in January of last year and the four men targeted the employees of an exclusive American company called Levien, five minutes away from where this robbery actually took place as well. And four men repeatedly punched and kicked him in the face in a shopping centre car park on the 13th of May, the year before. They left him with a fractured wrist and eye socket and the criminals sped away in the Mercedes and they smashed through a barrier with the £4 million worth of very rare chocolate diamonds. And as you can see with the barriers as well, same as the gate in the other example, these are not big deterrents. In 2021, you really need to be getting warrior gates and warrior doors. A lot of these companies that were ram raided and jewellery shops have gone on to upgrade to them sort of doors. The police say that the robbers in this case spotted an advert on the Ernest Jones website because Lavienne is a designer jeweller for Ernest Jones. The website announced the arrival of the jewellery in the store in Staines and this prompted them to hatch a plot to rob it. Camillo Cavajal, Ciro Troiano, Lee Gardner and Oscar Hicks were all convicted of conspiracy to commit robbery after an eight-week trial at Kingston Crown Court. He was opening the boot of his car when he got his suitcase out containing the jewellery and he was hit in the face. He then fell to the ground before being punched and kicked repeatedly. An investigation was launched and uncovered footage from the car park and got number plate recognition that, that captured the gang's car, a Mercedes C-Class, that was breaking through the exit barrier at speed at 8.25am on the morning of the robbery. The number plates had been stolen earlier the same week from a Mercedes in Lambeth. Using CCTV from the town centre and statements given by witnesses, investigating officers were able to piece together the car's journey for the area of Staines, as well as the four men that were seen going in and out of the car park two days prior to the robbery. They also established that the Mercedes was previously registered to a partner of Camillo. A blue Ford Focus had been travelling in convoy with the Mercedes that was registered also to Lee Gardner. Police found out that Syro travelled to Maidenhead in 2019, the day before the robbery, where he was seen looking at the Livian range in the Nicholson shopping centre. CCTV at the store and the shopping centre captured him, leaving and also entering the shop and looking at the display. Troiano was arrested at an address in London later on in the year and they uncovered a phone that later confirmed that he was using it for the offences of stealing the ring. Very similar style of robbery as well. So I really appreciate you joining me today. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace. Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour.